In the NBA, not all records are symbols of glory. Some remind us of the challenges and shortcomings of even the greatest players. Join us as we delve into the seven most embarrassing records in NBA history. 1. LeBron James, the Turnover King LeBron James, renowned for his exceptional skills, has a less celebrated record. He leads the NBA in all-time turnovers. As of the end of the 2022-2023 season, LeBron had amassed over 4,500 turnovers, averaging approximately 3.5 turnovers per game over his career. This is a significant number, especially when compared to other greats like Michael Jordan, who averaged 2.7 turnovers per game, and Kobe Bryant, with three. These turnovers often occurred in critical moments, leading to lost scoring opportunities and sometimes games. This issue is partly due to LeBron's high usage rate. He's often the primary ball handler and playmaker for his teams. His aggressive approach to creating plays and scoring leads to higher chances of turnovers. These mistakes, however, also highlight a key aspect of his playing style. LeBron is always willing to take risks. While this has led to numerous victories and spectacular plays, it has also resulted in a high turnover rate. LeBron's record serves as a reminder that even the most talented players have flaws. His turnover stats, although high, must be weighed against his overall contributions to the game, including his scoring, assists, and leadership. However, it undeniably remains a blemish on his otherwise remarkable career. But before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. 2. The Charlotte Bobcats 2011-2012 season The 2011-2012 season of the Charlotte Bobcats is infamously remembered for its historical low performance. The team ended the season with a 759 win-loss record, translating to a 106 winning percentage, the worst in NBA regular season history. This abysmal performance was a result of multiple factors, a lack of experienced leadership, poor roster construction, and inadequate coaching strategies. Their offensive and defensive ratings were among the worst in the league. The team averaged just 87 points per game while allowing over 100 points to their opponents. They struggled in almost every aspect of the game. Shooting efficiency, rebounding, and defensive cohesion were all lacking. This record is a stark contrast to successful teams like the 2007-2008 Boston Celtics, who managed a complete turnaround in one season, emphasizing the importance of strategic planning and execution in team success. The Bobcats season is often cited as a classic example of how not to rebuild a team. It highlights the consequences of mismanagement and the challenges of forming a competitive team in the NBA. This season served as a painful lesson for the franchise, emphasizing the need for a solid foundation, both in terms of player talent and organizational structure, to succeed in the league. 3. The Longest Losing Streak The Philadelphia 76ers 28-game losing streak, which spanned across the 2014, 2015, and 2015, 2016 seasons, stands as one of the longest in NBA history. This streak was a glaring indication of the team's inability to compete at the NBA level during that period. The average margin of defeat during this streak was over 12 points, underscoring their struggle in both offense and defense. This losing streak was part of a controversial strategy called the process, which involved accumulating high draft picks through losses. However, the immediate impact of this approach was demoralizing. It led to questions about the team's competitive spirit and the psychological toll on the players. The Sixers' performance during this period was a far cry from the resilience and competitiveness exhibited by teams like the 1990s Chicago Bulls. This period in the franchise's history highlights the risks associated with deliberate underperformance as a strategy for long-term gain. While the process eventually led to the acquisition of key players, the losing streak remains a dark chapter in the 76ers' history, showcasing the perils of prioritizing future success over present competitiveness. 4. The Lowest Scoring Quarter The 2004 Dallas Mavericks experienced an extraordinary offensive collapse, recording the lowest scoring quarter in NBA history with only two points. This record is an anomaly for a team that was known for its offensive firepower. It serves as a reminder that even the most potent offenses can experience catastrophic failures. During this infamous quarter, the Mavericks shooting was abysmal, and their inability to score was compounded by a lack of effective offensive strategies and adaptability. 
this performance starkly contrasts with the consistent offensive execution of teams like the Golden State Warriors during their championship runs. The Mavericks record is a case study in how a lapse in focus, coordination, and execution can lead to unprecedented breakdowns in gameplay. It underscores the importance of maintaining offensive efficiency and adaptability, especially for teams that rely heavily on their scoring capabilities. This incident in Mavericks history is a reminder that in the NBA, success is never guaranteed. And even the most skilled teams are vulnerable to off nights and unexpected lapses in performance. Five, the fastest foul, out. In a 1997 game, Bubba Wells made an unusual mark in NBA history by fouling out in just three minutes. This record was the result of a deliberate strategy by then coach Don Nelson, who instructed Wells to commit intentional fouls against Dennis Rodman, a poor free throw shooter. While the strategy was unique, it ultimately highlighted Wells' limited role on the team and a certain lack of strategic depth. Fouling out in such a short time is not just a record, but also a reflection of a player being reduced to a single dubious purpose. It contrasts sharply with the strategic fouling used effectively by players like Draymond Green or Bruce Bowen, who balanced aggression with tactical acumen. Wells' record is often cited as a peculiar example of basketball strategy, but it also raises questions about the usage and value of players in specific game scenarios. This incident in Wells' career, though memorable, stands as a testament to the sometimes one-dimensional roles players are relegated to. It underscores the importance of versatility and strategic thinking in professional basketball, qualities that Wells, unfortunately, could not showcase in his brief and infamous stint. Six, the shortest career. Jamison Curry holds a unique but disheartening NBA record, the shortest career in league history, lasting only 3.9 seconds in a single game. Curry's fleeting moment in the NBA starkly contrasts with the long-standing careers of players like Dirk Nowitzki or Vince Carter. His brief appearance underlines the brutal competitiveness of the league, where countless aspiring athletes vie for limited spots and even fewer achieve lasting careers. Curry's record is a harsh reminder of the realities of professional basketball. It reflects the immense challenges that fringe players face in securing a spot in the NBA. While superstars enjoy long and celebrated careers, many like Curry barely get a chance to make an impact. His story is one of unfulfilled potential, a dream that was realized but not sustained. This record serves as a poignant example of the thin line between making it in the NBA and remaining on the fringes. It highlights the relentless grind of professional sports, where for every success story, there are countless tales of hopes that never fully materialize. 7. The Most Missed Shots Kobe Bryant, one of the NBA's most iconic players, also holds the record for the most missed field goals. By the end of his career, Bryant had missed over 14,000 shots, a reflection of his high-volume shooting style. This record highlights a critical aspect of his game, a willingness to take difficult shots, often at the expense of shooting efficiency. Bryant's missed shots are a testament to his aggressive, never-back-down mentality. However, they also point to a tendency to take on excessive shooting responsibilities, sometimes to the detriment of his team's overall offensive flow. His shooting inefficiency, particularly in comparison to players like Stephen Curry or Kevin Durant, raises questions about the balance between a scorer's assertiveness and team dynamics. Kobe's record, while showcasing his fearless approach to scoring, also serves as a reminder of the complexities of offensive roles in basketball. It highlights the fine line between being a prolific scorer and an efficient one, a line that Bryant often straddled throughout his career. So, what do you think? Do you agree with our list? Let us know why or why not in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more NBA content.